This is the Age of Rage on Reaper Four Skulls. So this quest is a little harder than the first three, uh, primarily because of the end fight. All right, so first we have to find a rock. We could probably actually just, let me see if I could just unlock it with my knock. Yep, that's my unlock was good enough, but there's a key around here as well. If you don't want to you use the trailer. Uh, inside the building that's said to house the headquarters of Thieves the tool. disciples of rage. Time to see if your informant was well informed. These documents show All there's right, more to these court rights. This is going to start off a fight. Perhaps you can find other papers that will tell you more about the disciples of rage. The lever is pulled, and the nearby workers immediately the and we don't have to actually fight this bear. It it uh, it can't move, but might as well since we're here. It doesn't it, it's too big to get out of the cage, you know, which kind of begs the question: How did it get in there? But um, I, I think it's just not working as intended. I'm gonna get these traps while we're uh, going for the tra while they're finishing off the last couple enemies since it's pretty much under control. And let's see where this trap is. Over here, it looks like. Success on an 11. So that's a good sign. A couple of remnants. I'll start work, work from the back while he works forward. Another one of these. On a critical, critical success on a 15, so the traffic is working pretty good in this chain. Pressure builds behind your eyes as a massive headache sets in. You feel restless and agitated. I think I've gotten more remnants at level 30 than I had uh, all the levels before it. I think primarily because I was running four levels over, it reduces my chance to get remnants.
finish with the disciples of rage quickly before the madness can take hold of him. The cultists are not as easy. So critically hit for 2,090 pierce damage, and that was on top of a couple of smaller hits for 362 and 150. Uh, critical hit means that my fortification of 277 is not providing enough benefit. Um, Cronavir likely just got critical hit there as well. Shao is getting me up. Let's see if I can get Cronavir up. I'm going to focus on getting Coronavir up. Well, at least near a shrine, so it was kind of a wipe. Uh, this, yeah, the uh, 2,000 crits are just too much um, for me. I only barely have over 2,000 hit points. So there is a shrine right here that we can use. But uh, it seemed like, I guess I'll have to go back and check the video, but it seems like my 10,000 hit point thing didn't didn't go. You know, like I, maybe it gets interrupted or something. But I didn't see... 10,000 hit points there. Alright, so I'm off my timer, so I'm going to try to get back over there. Coronavir and Shiley are back up. rough I wasn't expecting to die there I mean quite honestly I just was not expecting that that'd be the place that we would have a wipe but um, you know those critical hits they're they're obviously bypassing 277 or my dire charge doesn't work on them Let's see if there's more okay hateful stairs So when we kind of ran out of the room, we also inadvertently uh, got up some, uh, activated some other enemies. So he's off a timer. Let me get him. So we'll shrine. Uh, there's a shrine there and we'll kind of regroup shrine. Let's clear this room. I think before we shrine, we'll clear these enemies over here. There's a small number of enemies. We'll have to get the crest, and then we'll shrine before the end fight. So th that's not what I consider the hard fight here. It's the end fight. But uh, again, that's you know one of the weaknesses of our party here is that we don't have will-based crowd control, and will is usually the lower save. Looks like they want to get this chest first. So let me gr help them there. So there's some kind of a trap here that I'm not able to find. Let's see if it gets better with this. It's either not 
one that can be removed, which, which is what I think. It's not going to kill us in the any of us in the party, but our dual box just isn't strong enough to even withstand that. So we're going to go clear these uh, this hallway and then come back and shrine. stairs. We have to watch out for that explosion. Alright, so now we just have the end fight. We're going to go back and shrine. Um, it seems like that red uh, crown champion bear uh, was really the thing that was getting us and and that's uh, you know one of the things with the champions is they do have the one shotting and it barely got us um, Coronavir and other builds has well over 3,000 hit points usually this uh, this is a new build he doesn't have the optimal gear um, and Shiley and I are in our first lives but still it's going I mean I think other than uh, that little hiccup there it's going pretty well But normally the uh, the thing that's hard is actually this end fight because there's a beholder and this particular beholder uh, has a stacking damage debuff. So uh, we'll have to, uh, in, when soloing, the way I work around that is I sort of circle around him. He's not able to, if I do that, he's not able to, uh, whoever if whoever has his aggro kind of circles around him, he's not able to keep that debuff on. So in three players, it'll, with three, it'll be interesting to see how that works. So we're not sure, we don't really have a tank, so we're not sure who's going to get his aggro. Uh, but whoever gets his aggro is just going to kind of circle around it, you know, to keep that damage to buff off everybody. Um, first priority, I need to get these puzzles in a position where they're not going to activate any of the red puzzles. All right, that should be good. Somebody turned that one uh, by mistake. Let's see. It's locked now, so we're going to have to deal with this. Uh, so we'll have to deal with that. I'm not sure what the what was uh, what was trying to be done there, but no big deal. Uh, I think we all have evasion. We should be fine. A strange volume floats over the altar. This must be the book the cultist mentioned. The book is instantly engulfed in flames. Yet before you can congratulate yourself on a job well done, the burning tome emits an intense pulse of arcane energy. The trash waves are when it gets dangerous here, so as soon as we see eyes, we want to focus on the trash, which should be pretty quick. Uh, he's down to about a third. So there's that debuff. One's not bad, two is bad. Uh, and we should be almost at the trash wave, the first trash wave. There. Okay, now I got two stacks, so there we go. Alright. Alright, then just leave as soon as you get these hateful stairs. Alright, I think we're. Well, one more eye horror. Alright, we're going to have one more wave. I don't think he's taking damage from this trap. Alright, here they come. Next, uh, get the eyes first. Alright, and... This other eye. Go 
supplies are down. Now we'll get these guys. Is gone, but the rage remains. And so the end fight was actually pretty, pretty easy. It was just that one uh, champion just uh, really, really nailed us. And so that is 3,880 Reaper XP, 15 minutes, three seconds, a couple of deaths, several deaths actually in that one fight. And that is the Age of Rage on Reaper Four Skulls.